This is a war. Whether Russia and the U.S. go to war, or whether, as Van den Heuvel says, the U.S. will take on China, this is a war between slave masters, okay? This is nothing but modern-day slavery. And when the slave masters fight, you don't side with one or another master. You don't side with my master. You take advantage of the fact that they're fighting to overthrow the whole institution of slavery, to get free. And this is how we have to look at it when these imperialists fight. We're not rooting for our imperialists. We are welcoming the defeat of these modern-day slave masters and whatever they undertake, okay? Because that is one step, or could be, if we do our work right, one step closer to being able to make a revolution to overthrow them altogether. Our society is absolutely designed to shut down 90% of the potential of the human creature. Why should it be the case that the society is afraid of realizing human potential? What it comes down to is special interests, that there are those who run things in society, and that there are those who are there to kind of serve them, and serve their ends, and serve their needs. And so what our society has created is a realm of unquestioning uh, meat robots who will perform their daily tasks without complaining and without causing any trouble. And that may be very useful to certain small interest groups, but it's extremely damaging to the rest of humanity. And once we realize our potential, we don't need elites anymore. Who needs elites? Who needs to be led? This is another revelation that comes from working with psychedelics, is we do not need leaders. They are not over us, telling us what to do. They may imagine that that's what they're doing, but they have no right to do that. And the moment we begin to wake up and start asking really profound questions about the nature of reality and about the society we live in, their power is instantly diminished. And I think that's why we've seen such vigor and real nasty unpleasantness put into this horrible, wicked thing called the war on drugs, which has been used as an excuse to enter the inner sanctum of people's lives. See, I'm not sovereign over my own consciousness. If I can't make free choices about my own consciousness, if I can't make those free choices while doing no harm to others, then I am not free in any useful or meaningful sense. And the moment that I free myself, then I become a danger to those who run things in the world. Anybody who has been led to question the nature of things profoundly as a result of psychedelics is a danger to the status quo.